Chris, let me tell you, very rarely do you meet people that are doing something so important. Not only is making the movies an important aspect of filmmaking, people don't realize how many filmmakers lose their dreams when it comes to distribution. Mm -hmm. We have two incredible individuals on right now that came from the world of independent filmmaking that are insiders changing the game of distribution. Their platform, Videomart. I'd love to introduce these two gentlemen and let them take it from there because there is nothing that we can say that is more interesting than they can do it right now. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you guys very thank much. Thank you for having us. Thank you. <laughs> I'm Fernando Ferro, and this is Moises Samora. Moises Samora. And uh, yeah, we're Video Mart, man. By the way, I'm taking you on the road with me, dude. That was the greatest introduction. Are you kidding? I'm gonna, you're going to come with your family, her. dude. Yeah, you're going to introduce me to family meetings and reunions. It's going to be great. Well, I'm telling you, man, it's because it's the truth, right? You guys, people, it's the truth. When you're living your dreams, the worst thing I hate is people that come up to me and say, I lost my dream after I made it, right? They did all that work, years of grinding. You're independent filmmakers. For any independent filmmakers out there, how hard is it to raise money? for any independent film. It's like, it's almost like striking gold, right? And then to have some company come along and take it from you? Look, I think that's why the answer to that problem is Video Mart, because we're looking at the streaming models, the subscription base, the advertising base, and none of it pays you back. You're actually giving them your movie for a small little tiny cut. And I buy about cut, I mean like 10 grand, 50 grand, if you're lucky, 100 grand, for them to put that on the platform. With Video Mart, we want to change that up because we believe that every movie has an audience. I mean, even an independent film, maybe it doesn't need 300 million subscribers like on Netflix. In fact, the, we call it the cemetery where movies go to die. <laughs> because if you, with no marketing spend, you know, like they're not, it can't compete with the knives out of the world. So with Video Mart, it's a new model. Basically, when you buy a digital movie to own on Amazon or Apple or iTunes, it kind of just stays there. You pay $9.99 for it, it's transactional VOD. But with VideoMart, we're giving the users the capability, the benefit of actually selling that movie to another user on the same platform, creating a marketplace of movies. What does that do for the filmmaker? It actually has a more of a royalty benefit. For every transaction, you're making money. And not just that, if you get an exclusive with us, we'll give you 50% of all purchases gross. When are you going to find that? You're not nowhere. Because we're filmmakers. We're not going to do deals with other filmmakers because we're and screw them because we would be screwing ourselves. I am the showrunner and creator of the Global Head Selena on Netflix. I thought, great, Global Head, 25 million households watches the first four weeks of its release. I thought, where's my mansion? Where's my multi-million dollar overall deal? Because it's the Global Head by any numbers whatsoever. I did not get a single penny from that. I still don't. That's why we went on strike. So we have a distribution problem. And Video Mart is here to solve it, not just for the users who are frustrated with subscriptions, but for people that have that dream. And if they have a small movie and it's beautiful and wonderful and got so lucky to get accepted to Sundance Film Festival and not get a, like a sale or a distribution, you're not going to get a second chance, brother. So come, to, come with us. Work with us. We'll, we'll integrate p and and marketing with it. And we'll put you in front of your audience, the people that support you, and they're going to make your career actually something that you can be proud of. Look, the biggest thing, every film has its own life cycle. It shouldn't be dictated by a, thir a third party. No one should tell you if this movie's hot or not. It just needs to exist. It needs to find its audience. It needs to be patient with its audience. And it will find it. And it will grow. What Video Mart does is give that opportunity for the film to find itself. And more importantly, give the data. That's the four-letter word that no one wants to give up. The data of who is watching your movie, who's buying your movie, where they're watching from, where they're purchasing from, and give you the power to have direct communication with them for your second and your third. It turns a hobby to a career. That's the hardest thing for first-time filmmakers especially, or second-time filmmakers is, Who's watching my movie and where are they watching from? Because that data could allow them to communicate with them saying, hey, guys, I'm going for round three. Will you support me? Yes. And that information isn't provided. I love you guys. I mean, the full disclosure and transparency that you guys give is what the user needs. We're not afraid of the numbers. We're not afraid no. of the data. No. On the contrary, I wish I knew 
who all those millions of people were. You know, I kind of have an idea, sort of. You know, maybe like Latina girls from 13 to 15 years old. <laughs> but at the end of the day, that is so valuable because I want to keep on making projects for that audience. And if you don't give me the numbers, if you don't tell me who that is, then who am I making movies for? Who am I making entertainment for? And with Video Mart, you'll have that. And not only that, we're making the users be your like business partners. How? We're monetizing word of mouth. What does that mean? Well, every user has a special link. Once you subscribe, I mean, I'm not going to even say the word subscribe. Once you register your email, because there's no subscriptions with us, just register your email, you become a user, you'll get an affiliate link and the refer to earn program will give you 20% of every purchase of all the people that come in for, for the entire year of 2024 until we have 1 million users. Why? Because again, we believe that word of mouth is very powerful. We believe their audiences should be part of the process and the journey to like elevate filmmakers and their success. And you do not need 300 million people to do that. A movie that costs $1.5 million with relatively known actors maybe only needs 500,000 units to be sold. But at $10, you go, that's $5 million. That's twice as much of that movie. You, we just made money in independent filmmaking that has not been seen since the days of the 90s. There is a fundamental flaw with independent distribution that does not empower the filmmaker. It just, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't. I've had that experience. I've had the movies at Sundance. I've had a movie at Toronto. You walk away without a sale, and it's like your death certificate of the film. It took me three years to make the movie in the first place. You're going to tell me in three days that I'm screwed? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, man, I'm not, I'm not buying it. You're you're not giving me you're giving me a test audience of a point zero zero percent that could be the right audience could be the wrong audience and that's going to dictate the value of a movie that hundreds of people worked on over the course of years and we don't believe in that we fundamentally disagree with that statement and we don't believe that filmmakers should put all of their eggs into a basket of a festival we I genuinely believe we're in the communications business that's what filmmaking is it's communication. And the filmmaker needs to be able to communicate with the audience. And for that to happen, it needs to have an opportunity to present the film to the audience to be able to do that. So, and that's what Video Mart is. In the end of the day, we're just giving a platform for filmmakers to actually start and sustain a career. Uh, that is fundamentally what we're doing. It really can't be better put. A platform to start and sustain a career. Something that is almost impossible to do. If you are not in this entertainment industry, you don't realize how difficult it is. What these two gentlemen are doing for the game of distribution yeah. is going to turn the game on its head. Really. It, you guys are changing it, everything. It's just the beginning. We want to get to a place these filmmakers are going, we're going to work with within the next 12 to 18 months. We want to cultivate a community with them. We want to continue their support with them. As we grow our business, we want to financially support them as they continue their careers. Like, we are building a family, man. So that's really what it is. Because at the end of the day, he said it very clearly. We know the pay points. I have a global hit. His films, uh, you know, debuted yeah. in like... Yeah, they ended up doing a fraction of what they could have. Yeah, yeah, I believe that. So we understand those pain points. And we also want to be, t you know, keep on telling our stories. And if we don't have a place where to put those stories that actually, you know, gives a career, like it makes a career sustainable... Yeah then let's go into real estate, brother, because I don't know what else to do, you know? I'm not uh, have a third party tell me what works and what doesn't in this industry. I'm not going to have him dictate my creative. I'm not going to have him dictate my cast. I'm not going to play a game on quote-unquote perceived value. They, the value lies in the filmmaker. Inherently, what is Sundance built on? On filmmakers that knew that they had the value in themselves. You think Sex, Lies, and Videotape will exist in today's market oh, no not even a shot not even a shot Maybe that launched this festival to what it became yes. there's raging bull mean streets films that were independently financed with fresh talent that had a singular voice those movies one out of 30 get made yeah and i think that percentage is too low oh, we, we gotta raise it when we saw the numbers drop we say okay if you don't get paid or you have a return on your investment, how are you going to be able to make content for people to see and to tell your story around the world? People identify what you're telling them. It's so hard to get a movie made, man. So you're raising a million dollars. You're climbing Mount Everest in swim shorts and sandals. <laughs> and you're doing that every time, right? 
So then why, if you go through all that trouble, why are you going to succumb to a 95% loss? Because someone's saying, I'll buy it at a 5 million MG, you raise your PNA, and we'll put it on one of the SBOD sort of things, and good luck with it. And furthermore, but if you do have a success, and you have all these like millions of yeah. dollars in revenue, and then suddenly you're still in the red, how is that yeah. possible? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on, Hollywood creative accounting is getting out of control. And with our transparency, we're like, we know exactly who's making the money, where the purchases are coming, and it's actually, you're going to get a percentage of gross revenue, not net. Don't mm-hmm. sit in, we'll, do, we'll handle all the P&A. That's great. We're not gonna pay. We're not gonna get paid out first. We get paid at the same time. You get your split. I get. We get our split from day zero. That's you insane. Know? Yeah. Look, we're not in it. Like, there's a million ways to skin a cat to make us more money. You're, that is not why we're doing real estate. <laughs> that, that is not why we're doing this. Honestly. The companies like Netflix who invaded and they put Blockbuster out of business because they didn't, but then they're putting themselves out of business now with that subscription. Uh, that ad. ad the ad, the look, everybody's obviously there's a bottom line. Yes. Yeah. I think it disrupts the films. You're watching a movie and all of a sudden, 30 minutes into it, you're watching three minutes of commercials. Yeah. Uh, uh, thank you for taking me out of it, my guy. Yeah. But more than that, yeah, they, you know, their overheads are insane and they got to make it's always about profit. And I get it. It's a, that's the business. Sure. That's the business they're in. They're in the business of, of quantity. Understood. For us, it's about quality having a very clear idea of which filmmakers should be on our platform and throwing all of our weight behind it. Just have a deeper connection with the title itself because there's also this kind of nostalgia or maybe there's still a need for that, what everything the DVD had, sure. right? Director's commentary. I used to love that. I yeah. That was my like inherent film school. So it's just like I would eat them up. And now you just don't have that anymore. And some of the capabilities that were integrated in Video Mart, each title will be able, especially if it's exclusive, will bring all that back. You could add and curate as you want, you know, behind the scenes footage, the director's and actor's commentary. I want to know how, you know, a scene got made, especially for those who are still trying to do that film independent, right? Like, how do we make this happen? Those are like valuable things that used to come with a criteria collection or a DVD. They will be available on Video Mart as well. We're we're doing something. One of the things I grew up in the '90s, love the '90s. Sure, and they were great. Yeah, yeah, they were great times. Blockbuster was the thing to do on a Friday night, and you had to get there at a very specific time. <laughs> if not those new releases, you weren't gonna have access to it, and then you were forced to shop around and get another film that you've never heard of, and then buy popcorn. One of the things about Video Mart that we love is that we identify, we curate each movie in its PNN and its distribution to its specific needs. So we actually don't release it for like not only forever, but in unlimited quantities. We actually cap the movies that create the demand in the secondary marketplace. So if you could go on Video Mart, we have a new exclusive title, and it not might not be available. Sure. So you're forced into the marketplace to try to get it or shop around for other titles. So we're digitizing that nostalgic blockbuster experience that for us, I mean, there was nothing more fun than that. As opposed to just sifting through hours and hours of Netflix and then falling asleep before you pick them up. All right, which is actually a hit of TikTok. I mean, I, did, I, I, I came from a very small town in California. I did not have Blockbuster, <laughs> but I had Video Palace. <laughs> and to me, that represented, and then in college, we had Agme Video. That represented that sort of incredible magical experience. It was like, all right, well, I didn't get, you know, Friday night, I have those, you know, commercial hits or whatever, but I'm going to explore the back aisles and you know that's how I encountered it's going to be the same that's how it's coming what one car why you know and all of these greats that otherwise I don't think I would have fallen in love with the cinema the way that I love cinema now and that to us that experience that connection with your media with your films with your movies it's missing it's missing in the scrolling it's missing in the subscription let's bring it back let's have a conversation and let's let the filmmakers speak for their art did I, did I read correctly? I, I looked a little bit up on you guys, and I saw something about you can sell a film that you already made to someone else and give them the opportunity to run with that film that you made. Absolutely. One of the things that we want to create is that marketplace. I mean, this is uh, with the with the black uh, the technology behind it. It gives you the rights to sell it to another person, and make and every time you a transaction happens, there's a royalty for the filmmaker. So that you see what's going on with the film, where it's going, where the people are watching it and enjoying it. And that's all available on the website, actually. 
that will be listed on each title, who's buying, who's selling, who put it up for auction. And that to us is important because then you get to know who your people are. Look at what they're doing. Again, they use the words community, family. I feel like I'm part of this community already, right? I mean, what you two are creating is revolutionary. It is what's going to change the world because the world now is communities. Social media has changed the world. The way the world is now, we need a community, and your community for distribution is incredible. Video Mart, I'm telling you, this is going to be the future. We are so excited to have yes. you guys on. We're going to have all the links below to Video Mart. We'd love to support you guys as much sure. as possible. Live Your Dreams podcast, we support Video Mart. I'm telling you, get it out there. Check it out. We'll get as much information as possible on it. Gentlemen, you guys are an inspiration. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, really. Yes. You guys are the best. Thank sure. you so much. Thank you. And so much. Thank, Thank you. you. What are you doing? Appreciate it.